Hey everyone, it's Adam from the Kiowa Conservancy today, and welcome to another episode for Marsh Madness. Today I thought it'd be fun to go out into the river and we're going to take a look at some of the shorebirds and marsh birds that you're going to find out using these mud flats and oyster flats. So come along with us. So it can be hard to get to by boat, but at low tide, these oyster flats are a great feeding and resting spot for some of our shorebirds. And hopefully, when we get out there, we might even see some banded birds, and I can look them up and see where all they've been. So when you think of shorebirds, you might not think of necessarily the marsh, but these oyster and mud flats are a key place for them to rest and feed. And what you'll see a lot of times is around these oyster flats is where a lot of your bait fish is going to be, and that's what they're feeding on. So one of the main birds that I'm seeing right now is the Forster's Tern, and you can identify them by their, their black cap and their pointy bill. Another bird that we're seeing out here is the Black Skimmer, and again that's another one of those birds that are going to be eating some of the bait fish that are going to be around these oyster and mud flats. So I pulled up here and I actually did find a banded oyster catcher. So what you can do if you're out and you find one of these and you get a picture, you can upload it to the American Oyster Catcher Working Group and they'll actually send you all the data of where that bird has been. So I'm going to get some pictures here and then upload it and then we'll be able to see where all this bird has been. So the reason that these oyster catchers are called oyster catchers is because they eat almost exclusively shellfish which makes the salt marshes important because they're their prime feeding ground and they need these areas to survive. Now that we're back from being out in the water, I looked it up and we actually had two banded birds that we had found on our trip. And one of them was captured in 2011. So this bird is almost 13 years old now and has traveled between Massachusetts and South Carolina at least, you know, back and forth at least five times. So this bird has just in those travels alone, gone over 6,000 miles. So, pretty cool story. And if you're out and about, uh, shorebirds have been in steep decline in recent years. So if you see any of these species or birds on the beach, make sure to give them some space to feed and rest. And if you see a band like these through a binoculars or a scope or a camera, make sure to upload it. You, uh, you never know where they've gone. So. Definitely cool. Hope you all had fun and stay tuned for more content.